Anglais, niveau débutant 8. S'il vous plaît ne pas oublier de vous abonner et aimer la vidéo. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. À quoi sert ce gros gâteau de crème glacée? What is this big ice cream cake for? What is this big ice cream cake for? C'est pour sa fête d'anniversaire le vendredi. It is for her birthday party on Friday. It is for her birthday party on Friday. À qui sont destinés ces chocolats au lait? Who are these milk chocolates for? Who are these milk chocolates for? Ils sont pour ma nouvelle secrétaire. Elle est merveilleuse. They are for my new secretary. She is wonderful. They are for my new secretary. She is wonderful. À quoi sert cet annuaire? What is this telephone book for? What is this telephone book for? C'est pour votre nouveau bureau. It is for your new office. It is for your new office. Hier était lundi, le premier jour de la semaine. Yesterday was Monday, the first day of the week. Yesterday was Monday, the first day of the week. C'était le 12 février, l'anniversaire d'Abraham Lincoln. It was the 12th of February, the birthday of Abraham Lincoln. It was February 12th, the birthday of Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln était un homme important dans l'histoire américaine. Abraham Lincoln was an important man in American history. Abraham Lincoln was an important man in American history. À cause de son anniversaire, peu de gens étaient au travail hier. Because of his birthday, not many people were at work yesterday. Because of his birthday, not many people were at work yesterday. Toutes les écoles, bureaux de poste et banques ont été fermés. All schools, post offices and banks were closed. All schools, post offices and banks were closed. Mais les hôpitaux, les pharmacies, les magasins, les marchés et les restaurants étaient ouverts. But hospitals, pharmacies, stores, markets and restaurants were open. But hospitals, pharmacies, stores, markets and restaurants were open.
Mary McKinley, avec son mari, était au cinéma hier soir. Mary McKinley, together with her husband, was at a film theater last evening. Mary McKinley, together with her husband, was at a film theater last evening. Le film était très intéressant. The film was very interesting. The film was very interesting. Il s'agissait des dernières années d'Abraham Lincoln et de tous les problèmes entre le Nord et le Sud. It was about Abraham Lincoln's last years and all the problems between the North and South. It was about Abraham Lincoln's last years and all the problems between the North and South. Sans aucun doute, ce fut une période sombre et terrible de l'histoire de l'Amérique. Without question, that was a dark, terrible time in America's history. Without question, that was a dark, terrible time in America's history. Aujourd'hui mardi. Beaucoup de gens sont déjà au travail. Today's Tuesday. Many people are already at work. Today's Tuesday. Many people are already at work. Les étudiants et les enseignants sont à l'école. Students and teachers are at schools. Students and teachers are at schools. Le mari de Marie, qui s'appelle Paul, est déjà à son bureau. Mary's husband, whose name is Paul, is already at his office. Mary's husband, whose name is Paul, is already at his office. Leur fille, Anne, qui est encore étudiante, est à son université. Their daughter, Anne, who's still a student, is at her university. Their daughter, Anne, who's still a student, is at her university. Il est maintenant 8h45 du matin. It's now 8.45 in the morning. It's now 8.45 in the morning. La pharmacie est fermée, car il est encore tôt. The pharmacy is closed, because it's still early. The pharmacy is closed, because it's still early. Ce matin, il ne sera pas ouvert avant 9 heures. This morning, it won't be open until 9 o'clock. This morning, it won't be open until 9 o'clock. La pharmacie est dans la rue depuis le bureau de Paul. The pharmacy is up the street from Paul's office. 
The pharmacy's up the street from Paul's office. C'est en face de la poste de la ville. It's across the street from the city post office. It's across the street from the city post office. Près du coin de l'université et des premières rues. Close to the corner of university and first streets. Close to the corner of university and first streets. Pas trop loin du marché aux légumes japonais. Not too far from the Japanese vegetable market. Not too far from the Japanese vegetable market. La fête aura lieu au restaurant de l'un des nouveaux hôtels de la ville. The party will be at the restaurant of one of the city's new hotels. The party will be at the restaurant of one of the city's new hotels. Demain ce sera mercredi, un autre jour de travail. Tomorrow will be Wednesday, another work day. Tomorrow will be Wednesday, another work day. Le mercredi est en milieu de semaine. Wednesdays in the middle of the week. Wednesdays in the middle of the week. Marie doit être chez son médecin mercredi à 10h15. Mary must be at her doctor's office at 10.15 on Wednesday. Mary must be at her doctor's office at 10.15 on Wednesday. Le lendemain mercredi de mercredi. The day after Wednesday is Thursday. The day after Wednesday is Thursday. À l'intérieur, le restaurant est propre et beau. Inside, the restaurant's clean and beautiful. Inside, the restaurant's clean and beautiful. Il y a des tables et des chaises pouvant accueillir jusqu'à 60 personnes. There are tables and chairs for up to 60 people. There are tables and chairs for up to 60 people. Le restaurant, nommé Lucky Star, est unique en son genre. The restaurant, whose name is Lucky Star, is one of a kind. The restaurant, whose name is Lucky Star, is one of a kind. Mais ce n'est pas tout. But that's not all. But that's not all. Sa nourriture est merveilleuse et pas trop chère. Its food's wonderful and not too expensive. It's 
Its food's wonderful and not too expensive. Marie doit être à sa banque le vendredi matin avant 11h. Mary must be at her bank on Friday morning before 11 o'clock. Mary must be at her bank on Friday morning before 11 o'clock. La banque de Marie est dans un ancien bâtiment à côté du bureau de poste. Mary's bank is in an old building next to the post office. Mary's bank is in an old building next to the post office. La banque est ouverte de 10h à 6h le vendredi. The banks open from 10 to 6 on Fridays. The banks open from 10 to 6 o'clock on Fridays. Les autres jours de la semaine, la banque n'est ouverte que jusqu'à 4 heures. On the other weekdays the bank is open only until 4 o'clock. On the other weekdays the bank is open only until 4 o'clock. Vendredi, après le travail, Marie et son mari seront à leur appartement. After work, on Friday, Mary and her husband will be at their apartment. After work, on Friday, Mary and her husband will be at their apartment. Leur appartement est situé dans un grand immeuble à proximité du parc de la ville. Their apartment is in a big apartment building close to the city park. Their apartment is in a big apartment building close to the city park. C'est pourquoi le nom de leur rue est Park. That's why the name of their street is Park. That's why the name of their street is Park. Leur adresse est 425 Park Street. Their address is 425 Park Street. Their address is 425 Park Street. Le numéro est sur le côté de l'immeuble. The number is on the side of the building. The number is on the side of the building. Leur numéro d'appartement est le 617. Their apartment number is 617. Their apartment number is 617. Et leur numéro de téléphone est le 433 à 9850. And their telephone number is 433-9850. And Their telephone number is 433-9850. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? What is this? Qui est la personne sur cette image?
Who is the person in this picture? Who is the person in this picture? 